Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would show you another journal page spread. So I've already showed you how I made the little notepad and a flip out pocket page. So on this side, I thought I would use one of the elements that comes in the Musical Botanica kit. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Check the description box for things that I share. And when I'm done with this video and you have completed watching it <laughs> and like it give me a comment what you like the most about it or if you have any questions please feel free to ask so this is a belly band that i thought would look really cute on this page and then i have a piece of some thick handmade paper that I made. I have a workshop every so often here in Oklahoma and a bunch of my friends came over and we made a bunch of handmade paper and I thought that would be really pretty over here on this side. I also have a piece of blackberry dyed paper and it ripped so I thought maybe I could embellish this page. So let's get started. To start with, I need to make this a little bit narrower. Now you can do one of two things. You can mark it, you can just eyeball it. Sometimes I'll even take two rulers and I think I wanna keep it roughly at five inches. So I'm just gonna kinda line up my ruler on the edge here and then I'll hold this down and rip it. So it gives us that frayed, ragged edge. And now I'm gonna rotate this around put my scrap away and I want this to be just under eight inches so that it'll fit under that belly band so I'm just going to place this ruler across here see if I got that eight inches okay and then rip that so now this piece should go under that piece it might be a little too much here, so I'm going to turn this and go ahead and rip another little bit off. That way I know that it's small enough. Yeah, so it'll fit in there. So kind of like a 5 by 7 in a sense. This is probably now 5 by 7 and a half, which is good. All right, so this side is really smooth, so I think I'm going to leave it for writing on. This has a little bit of a texture on it. So what if I took a piece of this music and I think what I want to do is tear away kind of the blank space here at the bottom and put my scraps in my scrap bin and then let's go just oh, probably right about here just a little bit of a strip. I think that would look good. And my thought was, what if I were to attach this going down the side here? So I think what I'll do is tear off a little bit at the bottom. So now we've got this little layered piece started. This is one of the laser chipboard pieces that come in the Musical Botanica kit. And I've painted it with white acrylic paint. And I'm thinking that maybe... I would spray that with some tattered angels. I've got this blue color. It's called Dynamics. It's from the Musical Botanica Tattered Angels set. I'm kind of liking the way that looks. So I'm going to lay this. Well, no, I'm going to save that. I may use some for something else. I'm going to lay this in the corner here and then make sure that you have shook it up. I'm also going to grab a glove so that I don't get tattered angels just in case on my fingers so that'll give it a nice little color and let's use my heat tool to dry this okay i think that's pretty dry and i like the way the flower portions didn't take a lot of the tattered angels but the body of the what is that not a fiddle violin might be a cello, maybe, who knows? All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of Distress Ink on my blackberry dyed paper. We have a huge blackberry vine bush, I don't know what you call it, it's the thornless kind that grows in my yard, 
And last year I had a ton of blackberries, so much so that I couldn't use them fast enough that some of them were starting to rot. So what I did was I just put them in a huge pot with some water and boiled them until I got a, a nice bath or dye. And then I dyed a whole bunch of paper with it. And I think it turned out really quite pretty. I have a piece of a doily here. I'm thinking that would look really good right there. So I'm going to put a little distress ink on the doily. And then I think what I'll do is I'll put a little bead of glue on the back of here and then take my doily and I want to position it so it's coming down the neck so you don't really see where I've cut it. See there? And then let's glue this whole piece down. I'm just putting little dots of glue. I use Aline's Tacky Glue. I think in the other videos I didn't really mention it very much, but I like it because it's inexpensive. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room if I put something down and I'm like, oh, nope, I don't like that if I work pretty quickly. Okay. Kind of press that down. I think I need to put a little bit of glue right here. I like it. And then I have the word from the kit that says harmonies. I think right about there would look good. So I'm just going to glue that down. I have the belly band and what I need to do is cut it. So I'm going to position it on my page and then take my scissors and looking from the back side, trim it off. And I'll save that piece. Who knows? I may use it somewhere else. I'll add a little bit of distress ink to the cut portion. And then this is going to go here. So do I want to leave the page white behind it? I think I do. I think I'm going to leave it white. But I may want to put something on top of here. <clears throat> I've got, oh, this looks pretty. Do I want to do the same thing? Or maybe I've got this treble cliff. I think the treble cliff would look better on there. So I'm going to put that on there. This is also from the Musical Botanica kit. And I'm just going to put glue right in the center. And then looking at this, see where the center might be and positioning it. And then move this out of the way. And glue this down. And then I'm going to position it in the center of the page, top to bottom, left to right. And I'll let that dry before I put my card underneath it. Let's slide this over. So on this side, I thought we would make a pocket. I started to make a pocket in another video, and then I realized I had done a mistake so I stopped but I was able to stop and save this piece which I thought would look really good here on the page and I've got this fussy cut element that I thought would go on top but this color behind here is kind of blah now I do have a piece of a hymnal page that I thought might look good on top of here so let me get my paper cutter out and I want to cut off the blank space here on the side. I believe my pocket is five and a quarter inches. So this will be roughly four and a half inches. And it is three inches tall. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut off some of the blank area here. And then maybe cut this to be two and three quarters inches tall. Let's see how this looks on top of here. That's not too bad, is it? And then if we put this over the top of it, it kind of gives us some nice layers. Let's add some distress ink to the edges. So I'm going to use this thicker piece underneath to help protect the hymnal page because they're older and sometimes they have a tendency to be fragile. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pocket piece as well. Give it a little distressing. And I think I want to add a little bit of color to this piece. So let me get out my distressings. I have Salty Ocean, so I'm going to take a little bit of this and just kind of go around the edge. Because I think that'll look good with the yellow on top of it. Now, what I think I want to do is I'm going to layer this on here and I want to stitch around it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle, not out to the edge, and position this. And basically this pocket, again, is five and a quarter by three inches tall. I just took a book page, folded it in half, made little tabs on the edges. And now what I'm going to do is go to the sewing machine and just stitch around this outside edge. I have a regular sewing machine. I have it set up to do zigzag stitch. I have black thread in the upper and the lower. Uh, the key thing that I will always say is don't sew over wet glue. Make sure you keep your machine clean. I have a regular needle. It's just keeping it simple and I'll just start stitching. When I get to the end, I leave the needle down and raise the presser foot and then swing around my paper and then continue sewing. I forgot to say, put the presser foot down and then continue sewing. <laughs> All right, so now I've got this piece and I thought this would look good right on top. I don't think it really needs any other addition behind it. So I'm going to glue that piece down and then I'm going to glue this to the page. I think first I will really score this, really burnish those folds so it'll lay flat. And then in the kit I have the word ballads and I thought that would be kind of cute right here in the corner. And then that'll go right here. And then part of the uh, musical Botanica kit is a journal card. This was designed by Norella of Calico Collage. She did all of the digital artwork. I went in and picked out images that I wanted her to use, like violins and the different instruments and some flowers. And then she put it all together. And I thought it turned out really really quite pretty. So that's going to go in there. You could add more to the page, but I kind of like the way the lace is peeking out from the page before. I don't know that it needs anything at the top, but if you wanted to put something there, you could. And then we've got our journal card over here, which should slip right into our belly band. And on the other side, I have this notepad that slips over the page. So I want to slip it into place. And then I have a paper clip that goes on here to hold it together so that when you flip to this page, it doesn't just flop out. And then you can remove the notepad. And then you have this removable large journal card that you can write on. And you can also stick other things behind there. And then, of course, this is the other side of the journal. Well, I hope you like seeing a quick little tutorial on adding some elements to a journal page. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment below what was your favorite part of this video. If you would... Um, Come back and watch me live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the description box for links to the Musical Botanica kit. And what else? I think that's about it. Thank you so much again for watching. Do something creative. Uh, go out and share a little bit of kindness in this world. And let's just make that spread like wildfire. All right, y'all. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.